Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to show you how to actually make a 2D image like this into a 3D printable object, and also how to use that to engrave into actual objects. So whenever you print off, you can get a cool logo. So as far as things goes, uh, first things first is you will need to pick your logo or whatever image that you want. What you want to do is avoid anything with mass detail all detail will be lost so for example like landscape stuff like that if you want to do a silhouette then that might be fine but if you want to you know have the trees in the foreground and and whatever in the background that ain't going to work you, you need to have something like this which is very much a black and white type of work so this would work but you'll just get the outline and whatever so that's a big thing to note into itself so as far as this goes, I'm selecting this because I'm making a 3D model and I figured why not? It was my favorite game, so why not? So as far as that goes, go to the following site. I'll leave a link down to, to it. And what you want to do is go ahead and start conversion and give it a second or two. And once it's done, it will automatically download. Now, if it doesn't start, then you can actually download from there. And what you want to do is go to Tinkercad. This is a free program. And what you want to do is simply import the file. And you can scale it right here. I'm not really going to worry about it. Um, I'm just going to put it like 50% because it is actually kind of massive. But um, let's just import it and give it a few seconds. So from here, what I can do is I can do whatever I want. I can actually um, make whatever object or do whatever I want on top of this. But what I want to do is export it because I don't use Tinkercad really at all other than these few things because it's very primitive and it takes a few hoops to use an online portal. So what I'm going to do is export it as a STL file and from there I can actually import it into any program on my computer. Now if you go on your computer you will have 3D Builder if you're on Windows 10 and if you didn't take it off um, th that should automatically be on your computer so note that. Now with that so what we can do is scale it here and let's just move it right around there so what I want to do is with this lid I want to just put this logo there so let's go ahead and turn it so it's like that we gotta scale it a little bit more so it fits and let me go ahead and pull that all the way down so basically what we're doing here is whatever you want to be cut out make sure it's it's covering that area and we're just going to go to subtract and there we go we got our image so from here what i can do is export this as stl upload it to the slicer and then upload it to the printer and print it off and in fact i'll show a image of that right now but anyways, hopefully this helped the ounce in understanding how this works and hope that you have a great day and feel free to like, subscribe and share and, and let me know what you need help on in the future. Oh, and uh, I want to mention real quick that I will actually leave a link down below to this model and also I will leave a link down below to the Hitman logo model itself. So if that's all you wanted, then you have it. It's coming on Thingiverse. But anyways, hope you have a great day.